its way. And welcome back to another edition of Friday Night Smackdown. We are in the shadow of Unforgiven. Moving towards our next pay per view event, ladies and gentlemen. And tonight, we have a big show hit. Head up for you here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to see multiple champion in action as well as the number one contenders matches. But first, to kick off our show, we're going to hear from the man who lost at, at Unforgiven, the Ring and Rao, Gunther. And ladies and gentlemen, to kick us off on SmackDown, it's the Ring and Rao, Gunther. Coming out here to address. This past Saturday's loss at Unforgiven to CM Punk. Gunther is here, ladies and gentlemen. And Gunther, you can see, staring the ring down. The disappointment that must exist within Gunther right now. After failing to win the title at at Unforgiven, some people would say not not his fault. I mean, Punk. It seemed he may have had a handful of tights. I don't really know, folks. So we're gonna hear from the ring general. For those of you who did not see what happened on Saturday, let me give you a small recap. On Saturday, I walked into a match against CM Punk. CM Punk and I, I will give him this. He gave me a great match and a great contest and a very satisfying victory. And a very satisfying thing to watch for all of you. It seemed that I was destined to be the winner as I am destined to be your champion. But then he do a, as you say, a roll up and I felt him grabbing my tights to hold my legs down to prevent me from kicking out and he took a cheap way out because he knows deep down in his mind I was going to win that night punk I demand another title shot and I demand you make this right because as far as I see it, I am your linear and true world champion. And if Punk, the little crybaby, won't give me the opportunity, well, I'll just have to chop it out of him. I am the Ring General. I am destined to stand atop the mountain. What are you destined for, Punk? Well, this man may have something to say about that. Ladies and gentlemen, your world heavyweight champion, CM Punk. CM Punk, of course, as I said, speculated to have some nefarious means of retaining the title this past Saturday at Unforgiven, but nonetheless, he did retain the title. And Punk appearing ready to go here tonight. Now, before I respond, let me just say this. I did not hold on to your types at Unforgiven during that roll up. I did not cheat to beat you, Gunther. And you want to know what? I'm right. Because my guess was, unless I managed to submit you, you would never ever accept the idea that I am a champion over you. So let me go ahead and say this, Gunther. 
the reason you lost on Saturday wasn't because I did or did not hold on to those tights. It's because you, despite all your skill, lack something to be champion. And that is Killer Instinct. You don't have the mind for it, Gunther. You don't have what it takes. See, I've stood atop the wrestling world for a long time before this, Gunther. And let me tell you, sometimes you gotta do things you're not very proud of in order to stay champion. Sometimes you gotta hit your best friend. Sometimes you gotta play a little dirty. But that is part of being the champ. Now, Gunther, if you can't accept that, I suggest you retire right now. You lying, impotent little man. You cheated to beat me. Say I have no killer instinct. I have more killer instinct than you have throughout your body when it comes to wrestling. Is that so? Yes. Well, Gunther, tell you what, I'll give him another title opportunity. I will. Provided that you face me in a no holds barred match for the World Heavyweight Championship. You say the rules, you say you're a ring and rail. Well, I beat you. Well, I beat you in that arena. And now it's your turn to beat me in mine. Think about it. And Punk telling Gunther he would give him another title opportunity, but it would be on Punk's terms. We have more on SmackDown. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up next here on SmackDown, this is going to be the opening contest, and this is going to be for the number one contendership for the WWE Women's title. And out first, they were unsuccessful this past this past Saturday at Unforgiven. But Seth Rollins has given this woman in an, another opportunity, nonetheless. Miss Money in the Bank, Indy Hartwell will be in action. And you can see coming out with her is Candice LeRae. Of course, Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. The way they had an opportunity to win the tag titles this past Saturday would not come to fruition. Unfortunately, the one who take the pin in that one would be Candice. But Indy tonight with an even bigger opportunity to secure a match for the women's title. And can you imagine... If Indy Hartwell could become the women's champion and Miss, Miss Money in the Bank at the same time, possibly even leading to, a, to the first ever two time title reign. Because, I mean, there's nothing stopping her from just showing up one night on Raw and trying her best. But, oh my God, tonight she faces the EST. Here she comes. We haven't seen her since WrestleMania. It's Bianca Belair. Bianca Belair. Returning night to the Blue Brand. And with an opportunity to become the number one contender for the Women's WWE Championship, the EST looks ready for action here tonight. And here we go, Indy Hartwell versus Bianca Belair, the winner. will be the number one contender for Blair Davenport's WWE Women's Championship. And here we go. And wait, oh, they lock up. And now, wait a minute, Bian Indy Hartwell trying to start things off strong. Oh, Bianca Belair running her down. Bianca Belair taking no time at all to run her down. And now, oh, an air raid crash neck breaker as well. 
And you can see the innovative move set of Bianca Belair. Now Bianca picks her up, sets her down with a power bomb. And you can see there Indy Hartwell. Unsure here. Now wait a minute, Bianca Belair. Oh my god, with that amazing neck breaker there from the EST. And now Bianca throws her off. Wait a minute, Bianca Belair. Oh, wait a minute, Indy Hartwell fights her way back. And now Indy Hartwell, big boot to Bianca. Bianca Belair brought down there with that big boot. And now wait a minute, Indy Hartwell picks her up. Sets her down on the, sets her down there. And you can see Indy Hartwell brings down the hair, grabbing her by that ponytail and kicks her around. And you can see Indy Hartwell finally able to get in the offense here. Now, Indy Hartwell, Bianca Belair is one of the biggest women on the on our roster here. But I think Indy Hartwell has her beat a little bit. And now, Indy Hartwell runs her across the ring. And Indy Hartwell, Bianca Belair goes down into a heap. And now, wait a minute. Oh, hit on to the outside. And you can see LeRae. On standby now watching the EST. And the count begins. And now wait a minute, Bianca Belair. Trying to get her strategy going here. Trying to figure out what her next move is. As Indy Hartwell surrounds the ring like a tiger shark. And now wait a minute, Indy Hartwell waiting. Oh, massive chop there from Indy Hartwell. Indy Hartwell was waiting for Bianca Belair on the inside of the ring. And now wait, oh, Indy Hartwell going into the corner, but Bianca... Fighting her off. And now Bianca Belair throws her into the corner. And Bianca pulls on the arm once again. Bianca Belair throws her out of the corner there. And now into the cover. One kick out there by Indy Hartwell. And now wait a minute, you can see brought down once again by the head. And now wait a minute, into a moonsault as well. The moonsault onto Indy Hartwell. And Indy Hartwell trying to pull herself up here. Remember, this is for the number one contendership to the women's WWE title. And now wait a minute, Bianca Belair. Oh my God, using the ropes as leverage trying to choke out Indy Hartwell. And now the EST... Standing in the corner, waiting, wait, oh no, goes to the clothesline, does not connect, Indy Hartwell, with a clothesline of her own, and again, and now Indy Hartwell, all fired up, nailing that drop kick there, nails that drop kick there on Bianca Belair, and now Indy Hartwell, Indy Hartwell, DDT onto Bianca Belair, and Indy Hartwell not wasting any time, Indy Hartwell, Indy Hartwell, picks her up, Sets her down. Oh my God, Indy Hartwell could have it, but wait. Wait a minute, Candice LeRae yelling at Indy Hartwell. Candice LeRae telling Indy Hartwell. What, what is this going on between these two? What is this going on between these two out here, folks? Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae. Candice LeRae saying she's trying to help, but Indy getting back into the ring. But wait a minute, Bianca was standing there waiting. EST slam. And now, wait a minute, no, 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 slam again! One, two, three, Bianca Belair is the number one contender. Bianca Belair defeats Indy Hartwell here. But it looked like for a moment, Indy Hartwell had the opportunity to become number one contender, but Candice LeRae got in the way. I don't know if she meant to or not, but what the hell? We have more. Hey, Jen. What do you want? Oh, come on. You don't want friends anymore, Jen? I don't need friends. Not anymore. You don't need friends. Maybe you could use some enemies. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. It just seems like 
someone who just wanted to turn his career around wouldn't take as much pleasure in hurting a man who did right by him like you did at Unforgiven to Akira Tozawa. Is that so? Yeah. Well, maybe once you go through having to help idiots month after month and having them drain your talent and drain your potential despite you being one of the best damn wrestlers in the world. Maybe then you'll get it. But until then, I've got nothing to say to you, boy. Hey. It's him. That's cute. Tell you what, Mello. You want an opportunity? Tonight. You and me. Non-title match. And I'll make you regret hurting me. And if by some miracle you manage to beat me, hell, you can challenge for the Cruiserweight title. Don't count on it, though. And ladies and gentlemen, Conanax, here they come. The newly crowned SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The new catch, Republic. As we saw at night in Champions, these two managed to win the SmackDown Tag Team titles in one of the most impressive performances, I think, of their young careers. And wait a minute! There's Pretty Deadly! There's Pretty Deadly! Pretty Deadly on the attack! Pretty Deadly attacking the men who took the titles from them! At Unforgiven! And now wait a minute! Oh, sets him down with a spine buster as Kit Wilson. And now Wilson, looking at Pete Dunne, drops him as well. And Pierce pretty deadly. Want their belts back. We have more on SmackDown. And ladies and gentlemen, Conan Hanks on SmackDown. We have more singles action. And out first is the leader of the LWO. It is Santos Escobar. Santos Escobar, of course, one of the most athletically gifted competitors in all of universe mode, I'd argue, ladies and gentlemen. And tonight, walking into this matchup, he looks ready to go, in my opinion, folks. He's been training and hitting the weights. And tonight, he has a massive opportunity against the current reigning United States Champion. If he can get a win over him, that would be a massive boost to his career. That goes without saying, folks. And you see Santos Escobar looking, trying to get ready for this matchup, trying to get ready for the Russian invasion. That's ahead of him right now. And here comes the United States Champion. After a hell of a match at Unforgiven. Managing to win the U.S. Managing to retain, I should say, the U.S. Championship against Sheamus. Sent Santos Escobar, you know he's not feeling confident about this one. Because he's facing Ilya Dragunov. I argue one of the most prolific stars in all of Universe Mode today. And you can see the United States Champion always ready for some action. Here we go, Santos Escobar. 
versus Ilya Dragunov. And here we go. And now wait a minute. Oh, oh starting off with a big boot there from Ilya Dragunov. Ilya Dragunov nailing a massive big boot there. And now wait a minute. Oh, running power slam from Dragunov. Wild kick out there from Santos Escobar. And you can see Dragunov trying to... Oh, Santos Escobar connects with a knee lift there on Dragunov. And now Dragunov put into trouble here. Wait a minute, Ilya Dragunov. Massive chop there, Dragunov. And now, oh, Santos Escobar pulls the leg and manages to hurt the leg of Dragunov. And now, oh, Santos Escobar trying to come forward into the hip toss there from Ilya Dragunov. And now Dragunov can't come up with the knee. No, Santos Escobar picks him up. No, slipping out there is Ilya Dragunov. And now Ilya Dragunov gets him with a Uranaki into the cover. One kick out there from Santos. And you can see Santos Escobar trying to recover. But that won't work when you're dealing with the Russian superpower that is Ilya Dragunov. Now Ilya Dragunov comes through with a dive onto Santos Escobar. And Santos, oh, caught on the way there. Massive hit there from Santos Escobar. And now wait a minute, into the trade chops there from Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov trying to have some fun here. Wait, Santos Escobar catches that shot there. And Dragunov not wasting any time, taking one for himself. And now wait a minute, what's Ilya Dragunov doing? Step up in security there from Santos Escobar. Santos has recovered here. Now Santos Escobar. I don't want to waste any time with the U.S. champion. Wait a minute. Count of five. And Santos Escobar getting into the ring. Santos Escobar urging Charles Robinson to count. But he knows that won't work out for him. But wait a minute. Oh, a bulldog there from Ilya Dragunov on the outside. And now Dragunov getting up and getting back into the ring with Santos Escobar. Santos shoots for Dragunov. Dragunov leaps over him. And now wait a minute, Dragunov. Santos Escobar catches him. Brings him down, oh my God, into the cover. One, two, nearly had the US champion, but no. Santos Escobar nailing that phantom driver there out of nowhere to possibly boost himself. And now Santos Escobar into the light drop as well. A desperation cover, one, two, Kick out again from Ilya Dragunov. Santos Escobar really thought he had the United States champion where he wanted him. And Santos now cut down here by Dragunov. Dragunov. Wait a minute. Now Santos Escobar picking him up. Wanting to hurt him. No. Dragunov catches him. Picks him up. Power bomb by Dragunov. The power bomb by Dragunov. Oh my God. Santos tries to roll him up. Two, kicked out by Ilya Dragunov. And now Dragunov's going to go for it. Wait a minute, Dragunov. Oh, into the chops. And the back and forth on the Santos Escobar. And Santos picked up, sat down with the Uranagi. And now Ilya Dragunov. Oh, into the, into the next chop sequence. Trying to hurt Santos Escobar. Santos now charging up, connects with a shot. No, Ilya Dragunov. Comes off the ropes. Torpedo Moscow. One, two, three. Ilya Dragunov. And all it takes is one Torpedo Moscow to put somebody to sleep. What a win for Ilya Dragunov here. And wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen, what's this? The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Mr. Dragunov. Very impressive win. Very impressive how you've looked thus far against Jey Uso, against Sheamus tonight, against Santos Escobar, what you've done the previous seasons, Former NXT champion, Ilya, it goes without saying, you are one impressive individual. And I have no doubt that you are deserving 
of the United States Championship. But you see, I have to do something. There's a thing that requires my attention, and that's the fact that I have never become United States Champion. You see, my father, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, in many ways defined the United States Championship in his day. The matches he had for it with people like Tully Blanchard, the matches he had for it with people like Ivan Kolov, incredible, will live in the minds of wrestling historians and wrestling fans forever. But you see, I want to be standing in that history book right there beside him. I want to become Grand Slam Champion. I want to become United States Champion for the roads. So Mr. Dragunov, instead of threatening, instead of coming to you saying, I can beat you, instead of coming to you saying, hey, I have a problem with you, I don't. All I want is a chance to hold what you have. Sure, you can have opportunity at my United States Championship. I look forward to besting you, Cody Rhodes. And ladies and gentlemen, the match has been made at our next pay-per-view event. Cody Rhodes just challenged Ilya Dragunov. Ilya Dragunov happily accepting the match. Ladies and gentlemen, it is your SmackDown General Manager, Seth Frickin' Rollins! And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I have a special announcement for all of you. Because of Drew McIntyre's incredible performance last week at Unforgiven tonight, I have a special treat for him in our main event. One-on-one, -on -one, next wave, Banned from ringside, no one else allowed. Drew McIntyre versus Dirty Dominic Mysterio in the main event tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what an announcement from our general manager. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we saw this set up earlier this evening between these two men. As the champion put a champion's challenge, here he comes. It's him, Carmelo Hanks. And after that tremendous performance he had last week in that match against Gunther, even though he, despite him losing that match, it was an incredible performance. That really elevated Carmelo Hayes here on SmackDown once again. Of course, Hayes. Had a run in with Chad Gable earlier tonight. Gable said, okay, fine. I want to wrestle you, but you're not getting a shot at the title. And that led to this, a non-title match between the two here tonight. And if Carmelo is able to get the win here tonight over the champion, he might be able to secure himself a title opportunity in the future. And you can see Melo looking so great right now. Of course, Carmelo Hayes. Had the match of the year last season with Seth Rollins. Let's see what he does here. Against the Cruiserweight Champion. The Olympian. Here he comes. Chad Gable. Chad Gable, of course, we saw him destroy, absolutely tear apart Akira Tozawa at Unforgiven a number of days ago. It was a very, Akira Tozawa had a few moments where he looked like he could possibly get the win, but ultimately it was not to be, and Gable would make Tozawa submit. And tonight, Gable seeks to continue this cruiserweight legacy he is building for himself. 
see there, the cruiserweight champion. Pulling up his title. And here we go, Carmelo Hayes versus Chad Gable. It's a non-title match, folks. Here we go. And then you can see, we, oh, oh, Chad Gable immediately starting out with his signature somersault kick. And now, wait a minute, now Gable bringing him up into a headlock. And Gable now, oh, trying to show the wrestling superiority he has over Carmelo Hayes here. And Hayes gets up Gable, wanting to hurt Chad Gable. Chad Gable says no. Gable now comes off the ropes. Wait a minute, Carmelo Hayes, oh, connects with a massive shot there onto Chad Gable. Chad Gable ultimately caught unaware there now oh a massive drop kick from Carmelo Hayes and you can see Hayes here Hayes wants the opportunity to become the cruiserweight champion throwing him into the corner of course Carmelo Hayes is a former cruiserweight champion in his own right with the opportunity to win it once again it will be a massive boost for him here in his career now we wait he's using the ropes as elevation oh my god oh a leg drop there from Carmelo Hayes and that's why they call him him and now you can see Chad Gable trying to recover there. Wait, wait, Gable. Oh, forcing his way up there. You never go ground and pound with Chad Gable. Chad Gable showing that extensive amateur wrestling background. Now coming in once again onto Carmelo Hayes. Hayes, oh my God, picked up, set down there with a suplex. And you can see Ga Carmelo Hayes trying to recover. Wait, brings him into a DDT. And now going to go for the drop kick. No, Gable out of the way there. Gable runs off the ropes. Oh, and Carmelo Hayes connects with a massive shot there. And now Carmelo Hayes going to go for the DDT again. Fought off there by Gable. And now Gable, wait a minute. Oh, a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. A picture-perfect belly-to-belly there from the cruiserweight champion. And you can see Gable... Waiting for Carmelo Hayes to get up to his feet here. Carmelo Hayes. Oh, Gable now. Forcing his way forward once again. Wait, oh, Carmelo Hayes slips the shot. And now Carmelo Hayes kicks up. Oh, insecurity there to Chad Gable. Gable caught off guard in a big way. Now brings him down with that DDT into the knees. And Carmelo Hayes has quickly taken control of this match once again. Hayes being able to slip that shot in. And now, wait a minute. Carmelo Hayes tying up his leg into the ropes. And now pulling on the leg of Chad Gable. And Chad Gable trying to regain balance with that foot there. Gable needs to recover now. Wait a minute. Chad Gable goes up. Chad Gable. Oh, slipping out there into the chop block. The old school chop block there from the Olympian. And takes him down once again with a somersault kick. As you can see, Gable is one of the most brutal competitors on all of SmackDown right now. And Gable, wait, oh, trying to cut down Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes says no. And now Hayes, oh, wait a minute. And now Hayes trying to fight back there. Wait, massive elbow connects there from Chad Gable, though. Gable now throwing throws Carmelo Hayes into the corner. What's going to happen here? Carmelo Hayes put up on the top rope by Chad Gable. Chad Gable now. Oh, Hayes nailing that elbow, trying to get Chad Gable away. And Chad Gable, wait a minute, sees the opportunity. Oh, my God. Oh, top rope German suplex from Gable. The top rope German suplex from Chad Gable. One, two, Carmelo Hayes kicks out. And you can see Carmelo Hayes trying to recover now. Oh, Gable. Comes back up with a knee strike. Gable is frustrated. Now Gable. Following Hayes onto the outside, I think. Wait, Hayes. Getting up on the apron with Gable. Wait, Gable now. Trying to avoid Carmelo Hayes. Hayes. Oh, dumps over there. Hayes did not measure that one quite right. And now Gable. Now, wait a minute. Gable. Oh, takes him up with a back body drop on the outside. Gable. Showing his true mercilessness here. And now Gable. Gonna go up top on him here. Gable now. Calling him up to his feet. Gable. Comes down with a drop kick though on Carmelo Hayes. 
into the cover. One, kick out again by Carmelo Hayes. Hayes again, manages to kick out now. Oh, go, go for the ankle lock. No, Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes avoiding Chad Gable's patented ankle lock. And now wait a minute. Oh, into the inverted DDT there from Hayes. And now Hayes. Oh, catches him with that code breaker there. Now into the cover on the champion two. Gable kicks out. And now Gable, wait a minute. Oh, go, go for the moonsault. But Gable out of the way. Gable now. Angle slam. Angle slam to Carmelo Hayes. One, two. Oh, my God. Hayes kicked out. Hayes kicking out again there. Now, wait. Oh, Hayes fighting back here. What's he going to do? Throws him into the corner. Carmelo Hayes brings him down with a slam. And now Hayes, I think, wants to hit nothing but net. Wait a minute, though. Gable pulls him down. Gable pulling Carmelo Hayes down there. And now, wait a minute. What's Chad Gable going to do? What is Chad Gable going to do? Wait a minute. Gable into the ankle lock. And great finds it. Great vined ankle lock. And you can see Hayes reaching out, trying to get to the ropes. Will Carmelo Hayes submit here to the, to the Cruiserweight Champion? Wait a minute. Hayes moves the foot of Gable. Hayes gets out. Hayes manages to get his way free of that one. Gable runs him down with a somersault kick. And now Gable. Oh. Picks him up. Angle slam. The angle slam. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's this? That's that's Otis. Otis up on the apron. And Gable yelling at Otis. Gable screaming at Otis to get away from this ring right now. Gable screaming at Otis to get away from the ring. And now wait a minute, Carmelo Hayes catches him with a neck breaker. Carmelo Hayes catches Chad Gable with that neck breaker. And now wait a minute, Hayes steps up into the code breaker on the outside. Otis standing up on the ramp may have given Carmelo Hayes exactly what he needed. And now wait a minute, wait a minute, Hayes, oh, that lands the moonsault as well. And Carmelo Hayes, wasting no time here with Chad Gable. Chad Gable in trouble. Hayes picks him up and sets him down. Chad Gable was distracted there. And now wait a minute, Carmelo Hayes wants to take advantage, nothing but net. One, two, three, Carmelo Hayes defeats Chad Gable. Carmelo Hayes will get an opportunity to become cruiserweight champion once again. Thanks to interruptions from Chad Gable's former protege, Otis, Carmelo Hayes will get another opportunity to become the cruiserweight champion. We have more on SmackDown. Want to know something new? I'm real tired of having to turn over different stones every other week. First, it was that referee, John Cohn. Won't tell me who paid. Then, it was the D'Angelo little, little bitches. Won't tell me who paid them. Now, next wave, want to get involved in my business too. Listen. Any one of you who want to stand between me and whoever is choosing to screw up my life, my career, how I feed my family, get in my way at your own risk. Because next wave, you 
are going down. And ladies and gentlemen, coming next, you're on SmackDown. It's our main event. Out first, the former world heavyweight champion. Tonight, finally forced to face his sins in a match where no one else will be allowed at ringside. Here he comes, Dirty Dominic Mysterio. And Dominic Mysterio, you know he did not want to be in this match tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Because the prospect that lies ahead of him is a horrifying one. He's got a one-on-one -on -one match against Drew McIntyre, ladies and gentlemen. And you know that's not really a position he wants to be in here. It's Dominic Mysterio looks out the crowd here. The most hated man as he's commonly known. Mysterio. Ready for action here tonight against this man. The Scottish Claymore, who, who Dominic Mysterio took the United, took the WWE Champion, the World Heavyweight Championship, a number of months ago from him. Here he comes, the man who beat Braun Steiner at Unforgiven. It is Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre appearing ready to go in this one, but wait a minute, what's Dom doing? Dominic Mysterio Oh, nails that drop kick on McIntyre Dominic Mysterio taking a bold strategy trying to attack McIntyre before the bell and McIntyre being choked here by Dom Dominic Mysterio desperately trying to employ and now Dominic raking across the eyes with an elbow drop as well. And Dominic Mysterio beating up on Drew McIntyre. And Drew, wait a minute, grabs up Dom. Picks him up. No, no, no. Oh my god! A slammer on that concrete. Dominic, you see, holding his back as he's punching away. And Dominic now needs to get this match into the ring where it can start. Dominic throws Drew into the ring. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Dominic Mysterio. Trying to take advantage of the situation here. Beating down. On Drew McIntyre and Drew grabs him up. No, Dominic fights out of that one. And now Dominic Mysterio comes off the ropes. Drop kick as well. But wait, a kick up from Drew and Drew takes him down with an elbow of Arch. And now wait a minute, Drew McIntyre picks him up once again. Throws Dom across the ring. And Dominic Mysterio trying to recover here and Drew McIntyre grabs him up. Wait a minute, picks him up, slams him again. And Dominic Mysterio has no idea what to do or where to go. Slam once more. Now wait, Dom up to his feet. No oh, nails that drop kick there. Now Dominic Mysterio, wait. Oh, can I, no, not colliding there with Drew McIntyre. And a super kick there from Dominic. Dominic trying to win this match here. One, two, oh, kick out there from Drew McIntyre. The kick out from Drew McIntyre here. And now wait a minute. Wait, oh wait, oh massive hit there. And now drop kick as well. 
from Dominic Mysterio. And now Dom runs off Wayman Drew McIntyre. Sees Dom coming. Dom in trouble here. McIntyre puts him into the ropes. Pulls on the arms of Dom. And now Dominic Mysterio in trouble here once again. Drew McIntyre. Wait, oh, eye gouge from Dominic. Dominic Mysterio with every single trick in the book tonight. Against Drew McIntyre. Oh my god! A Glasgow kiss out of nowhere on a Dominic Mysterio by Drew McIntyre. And Drew now dragging the body. And now into the cover. One, two. Oh my god, Dom kicked out. Dom managing to kick out of that one. And now wait a minute, going to hit him over the top. But yo, Dom pulls the rope down. Dominic Mysterio pulling down the rope. And now wait, oh, into the dive on the Drew McIntyre on the outside. Dom not wasting any time. And now wait a minute, Dom pinches Drew McIntyre into those steel steps. Drew McIntyre has been hurt here. Now Dominic Mysterio not wanting to waste any time. Oh my God, with a suplex. And another one. And now wait a minute. Into another one there. And you can see the proud work of Dirty Dom here. And now Dominic Mysterio. Trying to put down Drew McIntyre for good. Wait, Drew. Oh, leaps over to Dom. And now Dom. Needs to do something. Wait a minute. Drew McIntyre catches him. Future Shock DDT. One. Two. Kick out by, by Dominic. And now you can see Wayne and Drew going for the stop. No. Oh, McIntyre. Cut down by Dominic Mysterio. Dominic Mysterio with a clothesline. And now Dom. Wait a minute. Dominic. Rock splash. No. That turned out to be disastrous for Dom. And Dom missing that frog splash there. And now a Drew McIntyre standing in the corner. Oh my God. Claymore. One, two, three. Drew McIntyre with the win. Drew McIntyre defeats Dominic Mysterio here on SmackDown. What a win for him. And what a win here for Drew McIntyre, but oh my God, Braun Steiner, Braun Steiner. And here's the, and there's Charlie Dempsey and Dominic getting up on the apron here. Braun Steiner, Charlie Dempsey, the rest of Next Wave. And here we go. The beatdowns. Now, oh, another hit there. And you can see Drew McIntyre totally caught off guard. Drew McIntyre is surrounded. Drew McIntyre surrounded by Next Wave. And now wait a minute, next wave. Get him up, double suplex there to McIntyre. McIntyre trying to get out of the ring now, next wave. Not gonna let it happen. Picks him up, this group. is being more destructive than ever. And Drew McIntyre in real trouble here. But wait a minute, here comes the Cavalry. Here comes Jey Uso and Charlie and Uso. Getting into a fight on the stage. Now wait a minute, Jey Uso speared on Charlie Dempsey. Dempsey gets speared by Jey Uso. And Jey Uso walking down here. But, oh my God. Jey Uso walked right into a chair shot from Dominic Mysterio. And now Dominic. Beating up on Jey Uso as Braun continues to mug 
Drew McIntyre in the ring. And now wait a minute, wait a minute. Again across the back of Jey Uso. And again from Dominic. And again Dominic Mysterio is having a field day here. But wait, who's this? What's that? That's Sami Zayn. A lover kick. Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn saving Jey Uso here. And now McIntyre. McIntyre laying into Braun. Braun does not know what to do. Drew McIntyre. Dumps Braun Breaker. And what's this? And what's this we're seeing here, folks? The battle lines have been drawn. Sami Zayn, Drew McIntyre, and Jey Uso stare down Braun Steiner, Dominic Mysterio, and Charlie Dempsey. I've been Ray, and that was Universe.